Ever since I was a kid living in Oklahoma, I've always had a fear of tornadoes. Seeing this just drives that point home a little bit further. That is not good. It's definitely not something you want to be in the way of when it rolls through. Holy cow. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Nature certainly is a powerful thing. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I'm currently on Highway 82 heading eastbound, and I'm gonna spend the majority of the day pretty much on the same route. I'll veer off a little bit here and there, but that's the direction I'm heading, straight east. I just noticed that off parallel to the road are some railroad tracks, which is not unusual. The unusual thing is these look to be non-operational anymore. There's no better way to find out than walking up and taking a look. Yeah. Do not think these have been used in a while. Sometimes you'll see a short length of track that has been abandoned. But this is a very long, long stretch. Just left here. All the rails still intact. Oh. I will never be a trapeze artist. At least, I will never be a really good one. Whoa! Whoa! And that section of track has a tree laying in it, a big log. Yep. Definitely hasn't been used in a while. Filling up the tank currently. And I just noticed this sign. Absolutely no checks taken without approval first. So you need to check if they will accept your check. You have to check about the checks. It, this joke is going nowhere. And I got myself a Yoohoo in a can. I could have got it in a bottle, but I opted for the can. Whoa, no way. Sister Ruby Reader and Advisor. That's the same name from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You think after she gave Pee Wee the false information about the basement being at the Alamo, that she hightailed it and changed her first name from Madam to Sister? Eh, probably not. That's, that's probably not what happened, but you know, it's, it's fun to think about. If you're in the market for some Avon, that gas station, they sell it. Shh, don't look now. But there's a pig outside. Maybe it's a hog. What's the difference between a hog? Either way, there is some sort of swine. It's out there. Shh. Do not draw attention to yourself. Warning, keep out. For your own safety, the city of Sylvester has deemed this area restricted. But someone has made a little makeshift skate park here, which I think... It's pretty cool. This is one I have rarely seen with this cartoon character over on the side, given the little, the little point with the explosion. It's not a thumbs up. It's just a point with a explosion. Oh my gosh. I realize that this is for a kid to sit on, but that's moderately terrifying for a child, right? Imagine as a youth sitting on that, I would have Nightmares. Tim Tracker. <laughs> I really like the logo on this former establishment. The fair. That is cool. There's the old movie theater. Pretty sure it probably only had one screen, not even big enough width-wise for a twin cinema. In 1959, after many years of service, this part of the train was placed here. Locals referred to it as the little engine that could, and now it rests under this awning. And I'm also curious, what is this guy hauling at the light back there? What is on his flatbed? What the heck? These, what are those? I wonder what regions he's going to. I wonder what regions <laughs> that van is going to. This type of playground equipment you rarely see anymore. 
the metal teeter-totters and slides. So swings over there without swings, just the bar itself. These bleachers are completely overgrown with trees. Okay, I'm curious. I'm very curious. What is a possum poke? Do they actually poke a possum? This is interesting. The farmland here looks like the rows of crops have something over the top of it to shield it from the elements, perhaps? Maybe to keep it from the cold? That's at least what I'm guessing. It's not uncommon to see old buildings fallen into disrepair on the side of the road, but it is rare when they have the old plantation style pillars left out here. It looks like it was a very vast homestead. Even the trees have these bricks around them and the planters. And down there are more pillars. Someone worked very hard on this at one point. This was their dream house. I wonder what happened to get to this point. I imagine it was a pretty sweet pad back in the day. We're now entering the city limits of Tai Tai. That's right, T-Y, T-Y. There's the water tower up there, signifying the name. There are a couple buildings in the old downtown. This cleaners, and next to it, can't tell what this was, but heavily graffitied on the side. Even a little mural on the side. An oasis, if you will. Nestled among and underneath all this pine straw is the Dwight D. Eisenhower Memorial Gardens. And at the end of the pathway is a statue and a bust of the former president. And for those that might not know, he was the man who helped start the internet. <laughs> Did I just say internet? I meant interstate. Interstates, not internet system. Yeah, maybe he did. Whose wisdom and foresight launched the interstate system, not internet, in America. The greatest transportation miracle. I can't believe I, can't believe I got those two things confused. And around the back of the property is the Georgia Museum of Agriculture and Historical Village. This miniature train was built in 1924. And I'm inside the building now. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Some statues of horses, an old mail cart, some steam engines, this big log. I am being invited to touch the cotton though. Oh man, it feels really soft. Almost want to just like lay my head down in there and take a little nap. Just a second ago, I turned this corner, this guy startled the crud out of me. Oh no, I feel bad for this guy. He's just like stuck in that little cage there. Why is he in that? Now walking into the tobacco warehouse. And I guess this, that's what tobacco looks like in the rawest form. Inside the curing room, it has to be a certain temperature when you hang the tobacco from the roof. It's all done inside a shed like this one. I hear someone singing over here. This is the woodworkers' quarters. After a hard day at work, it's where he laid his head to rest. I guess at one time, gum turpentine was very popular. Enough, in fact, that they had their own calendar girls. And look at this. Here's a photo of a bunch of them in their swimsuits. And that's one of their garments right there behind this glass case. There he is, Mr. Egg himself Eggs holding an egg. Stones. He's an egg holding an egg. Julio? That's, wait, no, I thought, I thought you were someone else. That is a very big donkey out there standing in the shade next to some sheep as well. And there's also the old schoolhouse out here. It was built by Johnny Gibbs in 1895. These are not the original desk, but they had tables and chairs, but that is part of the original blackboard right there. Oh, that's the original blackboard. Yes. yes. And this is how you'd heat the, the room up. Potbelly stove. 
Do you have any it's McGuffey? Original. Do you have any McGuffey readers? I don't think so. We've got. Oh, I tell you, McGuffey. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. If anyone got in trouble, they would ring the bell. That's right. Or that's what you would ring to to, to alert to start the, the uh, class and get them get their attention, and then. And this is what the teacher would have worn. No, that's a three piece bathing suit. Yeah, if the teacher wore that, that would be kind of distracting for the school kids. You could see where they've carved their initials. Yeah. In there. I think you'll recognize it when you walk in. I hope you'll take some pictures. I love to share it and tell everybody that. I'll give you just about a minute. Um, this is the chapel? This is called Wesley Chapel. But this was the village, um, the historic village church. And you're walking on the nailed floor that is actually the original floor of the chapel the walls are also the original the hand poured plane uh, the hand poured panes um and of course these are the hand planed uh floors where the floors are a little bit uneven and that's where they got down and nailed each one of you can see the old nails and these are the the original name from 135 years yes, ago. Yes, sir, 1882. This is where they would have grown their crops. A little well for water and the homestead. It's a very friendly turkey. Inside the old train station. In the waiting area. It's like I've gone back in time wandering around here. Back to the olden days. A simpler time when there was no interstates or internet. Oh yeah, I see you. I see you over there. Dancing in the breeze. Having a good time. <laughs> I love those guys. Entering an enigma. Georgia style. That really is the name of the town. Not kidding. I guess I didn't see it, but Utopia was back there somewhere too. Just something about being on the open road. That is amazing. Can't really put my finger on it or explain it fully. It's just something you have to do at least once in your life. Just get in the car and drive across the country or at least go on a lengthy road trip. If you've done it, you know what I'm referring to. It's a wonderful feeling just to get out and see the countryside, and hit the open road. It's fantastic. I encourage you to do it one day if you have not. There's a plane on a stick. I have arrived in Willacoochee, W-I-L-L-A-C-O-O-C-H-E, Willacoochee, Georgia. It's an interesting name. I like this hardware store. Check out that GE neon sign up there. Here's a rarity, a video store still in existence, Atco Video. Check that out. They still exist! Creed T, take the wheel, take it from my hand. Just make sure you get us where I'm going. Just don't let go. I want to make it safe. And I want you to sing it loudly with me. Vlog over. Whoa, watch out, there's a tire in the road! Creed T! There's a tire! 